What I like to do for you today is uh, check some power adapters. These are uh, all AC DC adapters, uh, most of them configured for 12 volts. Um, we can test it with a, this meter, you can see it here. It defines the amount of watts used by something plugged in the wall. Here we have a Yamaha keyboard. Not very interesting, but it's just to see the difference. Uh, for the same settings with uh, all these adapters. Um, in here you see the uh, official Yamaha adapter. Um, there might be some differences in power usage and I'm going to show, show you this. Uh, let's start with this, uh, well, whatever the brand is and plug it in. and see what is the usage of this one it's already on 3 volts, uh, three watts and now the keyboard is on and there he goes I don't know if you can read it but it's measuring about 12 watts switch it off and I guess this one is not so very efficient and will be just generating heat plugged in the wall let's wait a little bit and still remaining using power not doing anything just making heat let's go for the next one Let's uh, check the official Yamaha adapter. It's a very lightweight adapter. Maybe that's modern, I don't know. Here we go. It's switched on. Stopping off about 6 watts here, it's about half of the other one, quite interesting. We'll switch it off and see if there's uh, some remaining power usage, at least noticeable. Oh, it's looking quite good, we go to the next one. This is a variable power supply. It has a switch which you can use for different voltages. Let's try 12 volt first like the other ones. The keyboard is uh, switched on. There we go. Topping off about 10 watts here. Something between the other two. Let's see how it goes switched off. Well, that looks okay. Let's go for the next one. This is also a switchable power supply, it looks a little bit older. Here's the one. It's setting for 12 volts as well. These are the official requirements of this keyboard. Let's have a look. Switched on. Remember that uh, the Yamaha adapter only used about 6 to 7 watts. Here 
here we're topping off about 10 watts. I will switch it off and see what happens. Well, that's all right then. Now for a change, we set this one to uh, 9 volts and see if there is any uh, economic value in that. Here we go, the keyboard worked just fine on this setting. Let's have a look, it's switched on. Start humming a little bit, that's all. Still working. So indeed it uses less power. Okay, let's switch it off. The last one is an uh, official 9 volt adapter. Let's have a look in here. It's switched on and some music. Okay, that's all right. Seven watts, just like the Yamaha one. So this is the best uh, adapter next to the Yamaha one in usage, and also it, the sound was uh, clean, no humming in there. Last try is uh, an adapter we used before. Now it's set to nine volts, and see what it does. If this is more economical, you can have a try. Switched on. Sound is clean, no humming here. I believe it's using a little bit less power now. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope this video helped for uh, usage of different uh, power supply adapters. Please note if you're going to try this, use AC DC adapters, no AC AC adapters. You will destroy your nice little keyboard or something else like that. Thank you.